thinking, this has nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. And that's exactly how I felt a few months ago when I did uh, my NLP Master Pack and, and Practitioner course with Topher Morrison. I was thinking, I'm going there for the business skills. It'll help me communicate better. Mm. <sighs> By the third day, I'm crying my eyes out. And I'm going, ah, uh, having major breakthroughs and realizations about myself. And it, it is a very powerful tuna. And I, um, I definitely, uh, I definitely uh, invite you to, to, to check it out. Check it out. But we're going to do some great exercises here as well, and uh, we're going to um, see if we can find anything and, 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 and release those emotions. When it comes to, to wealth, this is so fundamental, because your self-image and your uh, self-confidence will determine a lot of the other critical factors for creating wealth. I've already mentioned this. I've already mentioned about the fear of failure, fear of uh, rejection, fear of change, fear of the unknown, getting out of your comfort zone. And there's another fear, which is so outrageous. I, 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 it just doesn't make sense. It's a paradox, but it's the fear of success. So many people are just terrified, terrified of being successful and being successful financially especially. Imagine this. You're at school. And you get a great grade, 10 out of 10 plus, uh, and, and you're just so proud of yourself. But you see the kids around, they got a 2, a 3, a 4, and they're miserable, and they're unhappy. And they think, you know, nobody likes a smart ass, right? So you start down, downplaying it. You start thinking, ooh, well, I better not do that well, because these kids, you know, they won't like me. I won't get the love anymore. And it starts then, and it kind of builds up. And again, do you remember as I said that you live through your entire lives with the conditioning of the past? You model the world of the past? Uh, every single one of us, to, to, to different extents, are still working through and, and through the eyes and the beliefs and the decisions that we made when we were one, two, or three years old. You could have made a decision when you were two years old that you got bullied, bu bullied and therefore you're going to make sure that you're going to work out like a maniac for the rest of your life to make sure that you know, that never happens to you again. And you, your entire life, till 90, 10, 100, 120, you live through that, lim that decision that you made back then. Um, does this make sense so far? Yeah? Good. So my, my quest was, just like my quest was about, okay, what, I, what is the difference between people who are happy and people who are unhappy? What is the difference between people who, are, who have uh, wealth and people who don't have wealth? Same thing applies to, to self-confidence and self-esteem. What is that they, they have, that they do, that, that the average person doesn't? And uh, specifically, what does it take to go from here to here? Uh, for me, I, I, I went from no self-esteem to tremendous self-confidence the moment I became financially successful because I, I, f I proven to myself, I, first of all, I took action, I was disciplined, I made something happen, and I, and I had the follow-through to, to achieve something, uh, and then it worked. So I proven to myself that something that I did could work, and based on that, I, I, I decided that I can make other things work as well. Uh, this is a model that I just, that I think is so powerful. Let me see. This is your potential. And your potential, by the way, is unlimited. Think about this for a second. We were all born as babies. <laughs> it's true, I tell you. It's true. You just had a breakthrough. Jenny just had a breakthrough. We were born as babies. Yes. We are all born as babies with exactly the same opportunities and, and potential open to us. And every person, though, will have different destinies based on how much of their potential they're going to tap into. The programs that are...